Hi there, I'm Tesla, and in this tutorial, we're going to be making things move by using a function called moveComponent2. In a lot of my tutorials, I've used lerps and timelines to make objects or actors move places. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you an alternate way that we can do this. So I'm going to start by making the player move on top of this wall. So I'm going to just grab a target point so I can reference a location in the world. Let me just put it up to around here. And now in the level blueprint, I'm going to just right click and type in get actor location for that and it's going to reference it straight for that target point because we had it selected. So I'm also going to reference the uh, player character and I'm also going to right click and just type in move component 2 and this is the node that we're going to be using. So we have three execution pins for this. We have a move, stop and return. We also have a component so this is going to be our player character but it won't connect straight away it needs to reference the component directly so what we can do is just type in get root and we can get the root component and we don't want it for target point we want it for the player character so I'm going to chuck that in there and the target relative location is just going to be this and I'm not going to really play around with the rotation so we can check ease in or ease out to smooth it out and we actually have a time in seconds that it will take to get there. So I'm just going to put five seconds. We don't need to set up any lerps or timelines for this at all. And I'm just going to press T to fire this off. Cool. And we could use it for making a door move. If I just grab a prop for a door. Now Technically we don't want the door to move at all, we just want it to rotate. So what I'm going to do is just come into the level blueprint and reference this door, get the actor location for it again, and we want to uh, we want to use the get static mesh component. And then from this we can drag it out and type in move component to chuck in that location. Relative rotation we could put uh, 90 degrees and we could ease in or out if we want to but I'm just going to leave that unchecked and we can make it uh, one second and I'm just going to press Y for this and one last thing before we jump in it probably won't work straight away so we just need to make sure that we check movable for this and we have a simple door opening so this could be used for a lot of different scenarios sometimes it's not best to use it sometimes it is so thanks for checking this tutorial out and i hope it helps cheers guys